He's trying to find it too. These cubs are the latest additions to the largest group of captive giant pandas in the world. Around seven months old, they were bred in a desperate bid to save the species from extinction. But there are still too few pandas. As the mating season begins, at least 15 more cubs must be conceived this year alone if the species is to survive. And time is not on their side. China's Conservation and Research Centre was set up at Wulong in Sichuan Province in the 1980s at a critical time for wild pandas. Their precious bamboo began to flower and became inedible. The work seemed straightforward. The plan was to rescue starving wild pandas and then breed more pandas from them. But this seemingly simple task took a long time to achieve, and it wasn't until 20 years later that Wulong witnessed the fruits of successful breeding. In 2006, a record-breaking 18 panda cubs were produced. The following year, another 14 panda cubs were born. There are now more than 60 pandas at the centre and another 80 live at zoos and research centres in China and abroad. But even though Wulong is full to capacity, there still aren't enough captive pandas. Every年都有至少在十五只以上这么熟的增加，它是从我们来看，从我们呃国际国的专家，我们共同探讨的结果来看，就是我们要保存这个保持这个圈养物种，达到一个稳定的状态，我们需要达到一个三百只的水平。达
even here at Wulong. Only about a quarter of pandas are able to go into estrus naturally, and only one in ten male pandas are able to mate naturally. And they have precious little time to do so. As this year's mating season starts at Wulong, the pressure mounts. It's almost the end of March. There are 16 females already in estrus. Merely three mating males, only eight breeding pens available, and just a few days to get the job done. And those aren't the only problems. Pandas are just as particular about their partners as humans. And saving the species can sometimes be thwarted by the simple fact that some pandas can't stand the sight of each other. It's day one of Wulong's annual breeding bonanza. On the male team are three wild caught pandas, Wu Gong, Ling Ling, and of course, Wulong's star stud, Lulu. Their wild genes are crucial to the breeding program, as many of the females are captive bred. The three males are expected to service all the females currently in estrus, but the limited number of breeding pens means there's only room for five females at any one time. They constantly have to be moved into position, in and out of different pens, while the males stay put. <laughs> One of the first females to show signs of readiness is 13-year-old Feifei, whose name means concubine. She makes her feelings and heightened hormonal state as plain as her name. As in any proper relationship, the couple have to be formally introduced before matters can be taken any further. Wu Gong, as the first potential suitor, is kept indoors initially, so that both parties can have a risk-free mutual assessment. <laughs> <laughs> Fei Fei's behaviour makes it impossible for anyone to ignore. Except, it seems, Wu Gong. His mind is clearly focused on higher things, such as his stomach. Wu Gong, he doesn't have a good thing. He doesn't have a good thing. He doesn't have a good thing. He Wu Gong 
，从去年在那，哎，他都喜欢陪着陪着多的。嗯。But Fei Fei simply doesn't have the luxury of waiting for Wu Gong to finish his dinner. Her estrogen level is peaking and will soon dip again. She will be at her most fertile and must find a more reliable mate quickly. Maybe Lu Lu Liao Dai Xing has call you. Oh, Lu Lu can. Oh, Lu Lu, you you like like you call you, no problem. Lu Gang. Just like Lu Lu Li Xue is good. No problem. If Lu Lu like, if you find out the answer, you can find. 叫还不叫还不不出研究生，不出研究生不一大不可。But the first problem is to get Lulu indoors before Fei Fei can safely enter his den. Lulu, Lulu, come, Lulu. A seemingly simple task, but Lulu has other ideas. In the wild, the higher a male leaves his mark. The stronger and more virile he's considered, and the more attractive he is to the ladies. With Lulu safely indoors, it's time to introduce Fei Fei. At first sight, it seems that Lulu, like Wu Gong, isn't at all interested in Fei Fei. But the keeper's experience tells a different story. It may be early for the adults, but for the products of last year's mating, it's well past their bedtime. Not that many of the cubs make a distinction between sleep and activity. As evening draws on, Fei Fei's hormone level peaks, and as it begins to fall, the pressure is on for one of the male pandas to perform. Despite his earlier lack of interest, the keepers decide to give Wu Gong another go. At first, things seem to be going well. But then Wu Gong seems to lose all sense of direction. Fei Fei, in turn, loses patience with him and vents her frustration. Disappointed keepers take an even more disappointed Fei Fei back to her own pen. It's time to bring Lulu in again.
To everyone's relief, not least Feifei's, tonight's mating is a success. Copulation lasts a highly satisfactory 6 minutes and 29 seconds. Oh, 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 oh,